Everyone, Techie 101 here, back to do One Piece chapter 634, entitled 100,000 versus 10. So the chapter opens with a flashback to back at the Sea Forest when the Straw Hats and Jinbei, they were planning the assault on the plaza. And um, Jinbei, you know, he reiterates what he said earlier, like, you just can't attack Hody because if you do that, then you have to be an ally first. You have to be seen as a hero. You just can't go in and, like, a human beating up a fishman that'll just perpetuate the, uh, the violence. So he's like, you have to become an this island's hero. I, I, you know, and you know how Luffy is, right? He's, like, really hyper and stuff. I expected him to be like, ooh, a hero! Yeah, let's go do that! No, instead he's, he doesn't want to be a hero because uh, heroes apparently have to be generous. And, like, if a hero takes a bunch of meat, he divides it and shares it with the people. Luffy just wants to eat all the meat because he's a pirate. So he likes heroes, but he doesn't want to be one. Okay, whatever. Island's about to be sieged by an angry fishman that'll rule it under an iron fist, wants to enslave all of mankind, but whatever, you have a personal problem. That's cool, Luffy. That's just dandy. <laughs> but, um, anyway, Jinbei hatches the whole plan with uh, getting captured. They got captured deliberately, him and Megalo. And uh, he explains later that he, Shirahoshi, he didn't expect Shirahoshi to get captured, but she did. Uh, and then Luffy hides in the shark's mouth, and he comes out um, at the right time. Jinbei explains, you know, you have to get the uh, the world nobles letter, and you have to get the keys. So, you know, find some way to do that. And Luffy's just like, oh, okay, we'll figure out some method. And Sanji just freaks out. He's like, how rough is this plan? Well, y you're, you're coming up with it like ten minutes before you're actually doing it, so it's not really a, a great plan there. But uh, it works out in the end, as we saw last chapter. Um, so then Jinbei asks uh, Kami. You know, how do you think the crowds would respond if, you know, Luffy showed up and, you know, started beating the crap out of Hody? And she's like, well, they'd all cheer for him. And then Luffy, again, he's like, I'm only doing this because you're asking me, Jinbei. I'll be seriously put off if people start cheering for me. Okay. This is not the first time someone has been cheering for Luffy. It's happened before. Several times. He is the hero of many islands. Did, did you just completely forget about Alabasta and Skypea because that happened and you are the hero of those cultures now so yeah I, I don't know where this is coming from all of a sudden but whatever and then Jinbei goes on to explain the most important part of any military stratagem the name and they never show it either they never show what they came up with I really wanted to see you know what, what was the name there like operation beat the crap out of Hody or something I would have voted for it but anyway um Cut back to outside the uh, Gilverly Plaza where Hody gets back up after being punched by Luffy. He starts, you know, walking back to the plaza all beat up. So then we come back to inside the Gilverly Plaza where all the citizens are cheering for Luffy just like they should. And Luffy doesn't really, you know, he doesn't really have a comment on this either way. But um, then uh, Zio comes up from the New Fishman Pirates and he makes a little statement. And uh, meanwhile, all the pirates are just, like, bickering and arguing, like, talking to each other. Apparently, Sanji was the one that went to um, Neptune's palace, Ryugyo Palace, and uh, that's the, she's the one that saved everyone uh, from the palace. And uh, they're bickering about that. And uh, Frankie, Frankie mentions that he has two new weapons installed on the Thousand Sunny. So, I'm really interested in that. That's going to be pretty cool. He uh, He's about to reveal one at the end of the chapter. Um, I don't know. I have a pretty good suspicion that one of them is going to be the Soldier Dock 4, because 4 was always empty, I remember that, so it's probably in something in 4, but uh, I don't even know where the other one would uh, come in at, but um, but I guess we'll uh, see that when the time comes. And they were bicker and they're bickering so much, apparently, that they didn't even hear what Zio said, and he said, you know, you guys are so bragging just because you took back the king for now. And one of the new Fishman Pirates is like, I don't think they heard you, Zio. I'm like, that's because I was talking too low. <laughs> whatever he's been uh he's kind of like been like submissive a lot you know he's been like on, he was speaking on the ground he got trampled by everyone he's talking so low so no one can deliberately hear him whatever i don't know what the deal that is uh, and uh now though uh, apparently luffy has stopped calling shirahoshi crybaby and is now calling her wikahoshi okay then not really a step up from that but she thinks it is she's like oh you stopped calling me crybaby Koshi actually sounds a little bit worse because you're actually making fun of her name. But um, Jinbei explains he's very proud of Shirahoshi, you know, for uh, getting to the plaza and keeping something like that a secret all those years just because of her mother's uh, promise. Sorry for keeping it a secret because if she, in all honesty, if she said anything to anyone, 
anyone, her dad, her the the the, the uh, ministers, any anything like that, that this probably wouldn't have happened. But uh, you know, Jinbei's like, no, it's 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 okay. You're forgiven. So whatever. Luffy's gonna solve all your problems now anyway. So it doesn't really matter what you would have done back then. Back to the New Fisherman Pirates. Hody just got back to the plaza. He says we have to get Shirahoshi as soon as possible because of her. Um, you know, she can summon an entire army of sea beasts whenever she wants. So probably best to take her out first. And uh, Hody also says Yo, Vander Decken was useless, which, you know, what 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 is up with that? The last time we saw him, like three chapters ago, he lifted an entire freaking arc into the you know to be sent to Shirahoshi. Yeah, like what's the deal with that? I mean, he even stated that the arc was about half the size of New Fishman of uh, Fishman Island, so it's taking that long to get there. I, I I don't understand that. I mean, it's gonna show up eventually, but I'm just you know wor you know concerned about that because you know it's. Something that big, you think it would be like an instantaneous effect. But, uh, whatever. Uh, Hody and Jinbei have a back and forth. You know, you're friends with humans. How dare you? I remember back when we were sworn brothers at the Fishman District. And, uh, he goes on to explain his, like, his master plan. He's going to take over Fishman Island. Then he's going to go up, slaughter everyone in Mariwa. He's going to, uh, enslave every single human to the, uh, the, the Fishman. And he also goes on to explain that that includes pirates, so he's going to be, in truth, the Pirate King. Which, Luffy, of course, has something to say to that. And then Hody breaks probably the biggest taboo in the One Piece world. You never boast that you're going to kill the Straw Hats. Because everyone that always says that ends up like this, or 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 in some cases, this. And this, of course, is no exception. Luffy, take it away! Yeah, uh, not your smartest move there, buddy. Uh, so their numbers get cut by half. Uh, that, that's, again, I don't even think, how would they know that? Like, it got cut exactly by half. But uh, Luffy took out a huge number. Hody is shocked. Uh, Jinbei, you know, he's like, oh, I can't believe he came this far in just two years. And then Sanji mentions that he had the king's disposition all along, so... I guess that makes it wonder, like, how many people knew, actually knew about hockey, or maybe he learned about it from, um, you know, when it, from the two-year time skip, I don't know, but, uh, I don't know how well-known this, this, uh, concept to these people is, but, um, everyone is just amazed by him, he just, and Luffy just stares right at Hody and says, I'm gonna have to beat you up, because there's no need for more than one King of the Pirates. He got a pistol. So, epic wrap-up to the chapter, Luffy punches out a whole crap load of, uh, so, end of the chapter, Luffy punches out a whole crap load of pirates, uh, and all the um, characters have their little sides, you know, like what they're going to do. They're getting excited. And Frankie even mentions he's going to release the uh, one of the new weapons, the Soldier Dock System. Uh, he doesn't mention it's number four, but uh, that's the only one that was blank, so I would assume that's what it is. And uh, everyone's really pumped for the fight. It's going to start next chapter. This is, this is awesome. This chapter was awesome. I already assumed that, you know, Luffy was going to do the whole hockey trick with, like, his... If you have numbers that large, you know, Luffy's hockey's the perfect weapon for something like that. And, um, I also expected there not to be... I wanted there to be a fight. I was holding out hope that they would start fighting in this chapter, but they didn't. But, uh, as the, at the end of the chapter, everyone's really hyped and, you know, psyched to do this next chapter. It's, it's gonna happen next chapter, I can guarantee it. But, uh, we just need, like, a little... one more little buffer just to, you know, get everything right in order here. So, um... Next chapter, that's going to be the all-out brawl between all the Fishman Pirates. Uh, by next chapter, I think we would have a pretty good understanding about who's fighting who. Um, if we follow the basic One Piece formula where Luffy fights the strongest, which would be Hody, Zoro fights the second strongest, which I don't know, um, I want to say it's Zio, because Zio, he looks like the, the number two guy to me. Maybe it's because he has number two tattooed on his body. I don't know, but uh, something like that. Um, and then all the other ones, I have no idea. I don't know how the rank is with everyone else. Um, I have my basic idea that, you know, someone with fire is going to fight against uh, Icarus because he's afraid of fire. So either Usopp, uh, Sanji, or uh, Frankie, they can use fire. So um, we'll see next chapter. Uh, Tiki101 signing out.